Hello, Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld here. I wanted to talk about what needs to happen after someone has been arrested in Los Angeles for allegedly committing a crime. There's a lot that happens right after somebody's arrested, and I would recommend that the first call be made to an experienced defense attorney. And I know I'm an experienced defense attorney, so of course I would say that. But making the first call to an experienced defense attorney can help the whole process go a lot smoother and save a lot of money and a lot of aggravation. We need to find out is the person in custody or out of custody? Are they in jail or out of jail? Because an attorney can help with a release, an early release, a less expensive release, or hopefully a release on the person's own recognizance where they don't have to pay any money to get out. Once the person's out, uh, there may be an issue with uh, their car being impounded and a lawyer can help with getting the car out of impound. Additionally, the defense attorney needs to start to prepare the defense of the case. There may be investigation that needs to be done right away. There may need to be phone calls to the police department or the district attorney's office to see if there's something that can be done to help with the filing decision, whether or not charges are filed at all, and if charges are filed, what are they filed as. Calling an attorney early can help a person get back to work and get back on track and get everything moving in the right direction. The attorney may be able to appear in court for the person that's accused of the crime, at least give them, uh, give the person who's been arrested a game plan of what needs to be done and when. Make sure that any social media posts are taken down or cleaned if they could be in any way interpreted negatively. And sometimes uh, an attorney will be able to go to the jail or to the person's house if appropriate to help begin the defense investigation. Otherwise, the person can schedule a time to come into the office to explain what really happened, what all of the evidence is going to show, and what needs to be found and preserved. There may be video or witnesses or physical evidence that needs to be collected that the police department's just not going to do. If you've got questions about what to do after an arrest, call my office. I'd be happy to talk. You can reach me at 310-424-3145.